what, what was different about today? I mean, what did you, you feel certain things like making threes yeah. you did better than during yeah. the losing? I mean, we make. Well. Wow. Wow. Um, you know what, Mark? I'm not sure what was uh, what was different. Um, you know, to their credit, we talk about you know the youth and all that sort of thing. Um, they have always worked. They've always come back. You know, lose the, the overtime, Boston College. You know, um, not a pleasant time. You know, well documented by uh, you guys. Uh, we, I feel it. They, they feel it. But. Um, you know, to continue to work and believe and uh, trust one another. Um, I thought they had a great look from uh, from the start. Our starts have been better here over the last uh, week, 10 days. And, um, you know, just um, I, I thought, you know, you know, one of those games, again, as we've seen throughout the course of the year, where – you know, everybody made a contribution to uh, to that win. Ojiako I thought was pretty good in the first half and helped us. Jalen Cohn bangs four threes. Um, I thought, um, you know, just um, just uh, uh, you know a, a, a camaraderie and a, uh, a level of uh, toughness throughout. I thought we were exceptional defensively throughout the game. We limit them to thirty five percent from the field. Five made threes. So, you know, I'm not sure that I can put my finger on any one thing. But um, a great effort from uh, from the Hokies. PJ with 18 points, yeah. four threes, some, some big threes in the second half. There was what was it about his game that you know, was this was a, a best? I game just game? thought he was really searching. He was um, more so tonight than uh, than than I thought. Um, and we had some matchups against you know the previous uh, game, uh, Boston College, and uh, the game uh, before that that. Um, uh, he wasn't moving as well. He wasn't his shot preparation wasn't what it uh, it, it had been. Um, had a great look. Uh, team does a good job. We've got 21 assists. We had 11 assists on 13 made field goals in the first half. We finished the game with 21 assists, 10 turnovers. You know those are those are our types of numbers and uh, encouraging um, and you know happy about that. Yeah, get that microphone. Holy cow! I don't think I. <laughs> Coach, you mentioned uh, holding them to 35. percent What did you make any adjustments over the, the extra time you had? Well, the game, or what do you think um, that? as good as I think they are, um, uh, Coach Capel's uh, terrific. Um, they don't shoot the ball great. You know, they came into the game through 11 uh, league games, I think, or 14 league games, whatever they had played, shooting 39 percent from the field and 29 percent from three. Um, you know, their best uh, 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 scoring opportunities are with Trey and uh, number one, just driving the fire out of it. So we uh, talked um, and talked and worked and, and drilled throughout the week of we want six eyes, the primary uh, ball defender uh, and those, you know, two guys in those uh, gaps. We want six eyes on the ball when Trey and – and, um, you know, and Xavier uh, have the ball in their hands uh, to making that a difficult play for them. And I thought, you know, all in all, we did, uh, we did, a, we did a very nice job with it. Aaron, speak up. I'm not. <laughs> uh, Mike, uh, midway through the second half, your leading scorer, Cone, at the time. Say it again. Your leading scorer, Cone, at yeah. the time, at the second half, and your leading rebounder, Ojiako. Both should have been in high school this year. Yes. Uh, just so I mean, the you kind of touched on it earlier, but the contributions that you're getting from up and down this this lineup. I mean, Nolly, you know, he he doesn't have a good offensive game, but he throws the ball off that guy late in the game that leads to a three in the corner. Yeah. Um, Did lead to a three. I guess I I don't know the. Can you speak at all to the uh, the depth, the growth, the depth of, and, and the depth. Um, you know, I, I, I want to play Ojiako more. Uh, John should be a high school, sir, could be a high school senior. Uh, John, uh, it looks like I'm doing a bad job with him in terms of his conditioning. Uh, John is, is, is got to get bigger and stronger, and that comes with time. That's not going to happen, you know, uh, overnight. And, you know, he's played, uh, played limited minutes, um, but he is getting better and better, I'm telling you. 
Um, he is going to be a, really a good player around here. Uh, he has some plays that, you know, that we've talked about it before that are head scratchers. But uh, Jalen Cohn, um, boy, did he have a great approach. And his work uh, leading up to tonight was, uh, you know, exemplary and has another uh, big night for us. And, you know, I, I, I knew this, but for you to touch on it and point it out, um, Landers was, was not in double figures, but he helped our team in other areas. Um, he, um, he did a nice job uh, with the ball. He had 12 rebounds. Uh, we have to have him play with greater, a greater level of physicality. He did that. I thought that was going to be the key to the game, our ability or inability to keep Tony and, uh, pardon me, help me, anybody from uh, uh, Pittsburgh in here, uh, Champagne, is that how you pronounce it? Champagne, to keep those two kids off the glass. And we weren't perfect, but I thought all in all throughout the course of the game, pretty good. So, did I answer your question, Aaron? Yeah, it was a bad question. No, it wasn't. <laughs> You've never asked a bad question. Berman, on the other hand? Hey, Coach, you mentioned physicality. Jalen said, hey, defensively, we want to be physical with him tonight. That's kind of their MO. Yeah. In this week off, was that? Yeah, you know, we needed it. Not only it. for tonight, but going forward. We needed it. We needed it. Um, we were a bit on our last leg there. Couldn't have come at a better time, Travis, for us to um, – you know, decompress a little bit. I gave him Sunday and uh, Tuesday off, and we were able to get on the road and see uh, some folks. And uh, and then we had three really good ba days of practice. Monday's practice was uh, was good. Um, again, you know, uh, again, I just you know, a lot of these kids were finishing their high school career this at this time last year. You know, and we've got what three weeks a month. Uh, hopefully, we you know play in the postseason. Uh, so we still got a lot to look forward to. We still got a lot to work on, but uh, with the time off and the uh, opportunity to practice and work on Virginia Tech and, and our stuff, and I thought offensively our sharpness in the first half uh, was was as good as we've had in a while. Uh, Tyree said tonight that one piece that he felt like you guys were missing was just finishing. Why do you think that's what really stuck out in his head, and what have y'all been doing to combat that? Well, it's not an easy thing to, to, to work on, Brooke. It's just being in those situations. Now, you know, we have uh, finished some games. We have not finished uh, some games. Um, it's just, you know, relying on habits and relying on the things that got you to that point. Defending, and we did that for the most part very well throughout the game. We rebounded. You know, I thought if we got out-rebounded 10, we'd get clobbered. We out-rebounded them in the first half two, whopping two, uh, and uh, competed like crazy in that uh, in that regard in the uh, in the second half. So, you know, there's no pixie dust. There's no magic formula to finishing. You know, do the things that you've done from the start. You know, defend, uh, rebound, get a quality shot each time down, and uh, that uh, that'll get you out of a lot of situations. I thought they did that. Last one. To add on to about Aaron's question about growth, Tyrese Radford throughout this entire season has continued to develop and just continued to flourish. He led the team in minutes, plus minus 11 tonight. Was there, is there something that you and the staff have done throughout the season just continue to add to his strengths and just be able to put him in the best position possible? Because it's just been something that I've been There's not a There's not a darn thing I've done. Did you finish your question? Yeah, no. There's not a darn thing I've done. Um, it is college basketball. It is uh, it is uh, coaching. Um, I can't tell you how many times I had a great player at Wofford, Jamar Diggs, uh, played. Uh, we were at Pittsburgh, ironically. We were at Pittsburgh in 2010, and Diggs played 12 minutes. And by this time, just like Tyrese, I never took him out of the game. He was that – he affected winning. He was that valuable to us. And Ty Tyrese Radford is exactly the same way. Um Loose balls. He can guard. He guarded Champagne. He, he, he guarded him tonight. Tyrese is six foot one. He might be six foot and a half. Um, and you know, eleven is a is a good looking athlete um, and basketball player. And uh, you know, he fought fought him tooth and nail. So it's just a you know a, a developing trust as you go through you know the season and. Um, you know, he, he just does it night in, night out. And then you wake up on your drive in one day. Why does he come out of the game? You know, he's, he's, uh, 
he's too valuable to our team and to our uh, you know level of play to 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 take him out.